How to Act Like a Mad Scientist Mad scientists are common character types in many works of fiction. The mad scientist is driven, brilliant, and perhaps a bit tortured. If you have a background in science, you'll have a head start when trying to act like a mad scientist. If you don't have a scientific background, you can still adopt certain elements of the mad scientist persona in your dress and attitude. In either case, don't take your act too far and stay safe. Method 1 Adopting a Mad Scientist Personality and Style 1. Choose Your Style When asked what a mad scientist looks like, many people envision a wild, eyed fellow in a tattered lab coat. However, mad scientists actually have a wide variety of stylish options open to them. Mad scientists usually conform to one of two distinct styles. Dapper and well, dressed, like Nikola Tesla. Tesla was one of the finest scientific minds of his day, but he also believed he had contacted aliens and believed he was in a mutual love affair with a pigeon. A typical mad scientist of the type described above. Dress in a shabby lab coat. This style evokes Mary Shelley's classic character Dr. Frankenstein, as well as certain incarnations of Spider-Man's foe Dr. Octopus. If you do not wish to adjust your style of clothing to act like a mad scientist, that's okay. If you're trying to act like a mad scientist for a Halloween party or a theater production, though, dressing the part will help you get into the role. 2. Give yourself a quirky hairstyle Albert Einstein, for instance, was not a mad scientist, but his hair was often must and wild-looking. Capture this eccentricity when acting like a mad scientist. Grow your hair out to at least a medium length. Pull your hair up and out to give yourself a zany look. Fix it in place with hair gel or hairspray. 3. Be outgoing and charming. One variation of the mad scientist is not a recluse, but is instead an outgoing, extroverted, smooth talker. Learn to listen to others and talk to them about what they want to talk about. Be persuasive. Ask people what they need and how you can help. Compliment others on their ideas and style. Make yourself someone that others want to be around because you are so pleasant and intriguing. Don't dominate a conversation. Nod when others talk to show you are listening. Do not your powers of persuasion and social skills to manipulate others. This type of mad scientist cons people into thinking he is harmless when in fact, he has diabolical schemes in the works. Certain incarnations of Lex Luthor best exemplify how this characteristic looks in mad scientists. 4. Be Driven Mad scientists direct their focus on at least one problem that really engages their attention. To capture or recreate this feeling for yourself, identify an area of your own life that you wish was different. Devote yourself to making a positive change. You might realize that your community has widespread poverty and decide to volunteer regularly at your local soup kitchen. Perhaps you'll realize that your school is underfunded and start a crowdfunding effort or engage in other entrepreneurial activity to help improve the quality of your school. Instead of following the mad scientist method of correcting the wrong or meeting your goals no matter what, use a reasonable, measured approach when acting on whatever it is that really drives you. Live your life passionately, just as a mad scientist would. Method 2 Taking Action 1. Educate yourself in at least one scientific area. It's hard to act like a mad scientist without having at least some sense of what goes on in the mind of a mad scientist, or, for that matter, a regular scientist. Even without a strong background in science, you can still cultivate an understanding of what kind of work scientists in a particular field do. Conduct independent research to better understand the branch of science you're most interested in. Visit your local library for popular science books and subscribe to informative magazines like Scientific American.
Listen to pop science podcasts like Star Talk when you're on the go. Use your scientific knowledge to propose wild but plausible sounding ideas to startle your friends and family. For instance, you might start a conversation with a question like, do you ever wonder how many particle accelerators it would take to create a black hole? If you don't know something, don't pretend you do. It will probably be obvious if that is the case. 2. Do some crazy experiments. There are many scientific tricks you can perform at home. For instance, try creating instant ice. Place a bottle of purified water in the freezer. Let it cool for 2.5, 2.75 hours at a temperature of 25 degrees Fahrenheit, 11 degrees Celsius. You should be able to see bits of ice floating in the bottle, but the water should still be liquid. At this temperature, it has become a super cool liquid. Flick the bottle hard with your index finger to kick, start a crystal formation process within the water bottle. The water will solidify into ice before your eyes. Perform this experiment for your friends, and don't tell them how you did it. 3. Try new, challenging activities. Mad scientists enjoy testing themselves. Push yourself physically and intellectually. For instance, you might take up distance running. For added mad scientist points, if anyone asks why you suddenly developed an interest in distance running, say something cryptic like, only through trial and error can I discover the true limits of this frail form. Albert Einstein used to go sailing on windy days just because he liked the challenge. Method 3 Acting Like a Mad Scientist with a Science Background 1. Choose an appropriate field. While you could technically be a mad scientist in any field, the films, TV shows, and books that feature mad scientists tend to concentrate on a few specific fields. Going into a field that is commonly associated with mad scientists could help you act like one. The most common fields for mad scientists are biology, mechanical engineering, and biotechnology. On the other hand, relatively few mad scientists have backgrounds in chemistry, psychology, and neuroscience. If you don't want to take your act all the way and get a PhD in the scientific field of your choice, that's understandable. 2. Take risks The mad scientist is someone who tries untested technologies and explores new scientific territory. In this respect, mad scientists are not so different from regular scientists. Look for areas in your own research where you could try some outside, the box thinking and experimentation within limits. What makes the mad scientist a despised and evil character is their tendency to pursue research even when it is unethical or causes harm. Mad scientists pursue new research and experiments not for the good of all mankind, but to accumulate power and satisfy their own desire to know or do something just because they can. Do not take unreasonable or unnecessary risks. Remember, acting like a mad scientist doesn't mean actually becoming a mad scientist. 3. Rise to the top of your field. Mad scientists are often admirable in at least some respects. They have excellent problem-solving skills and might even revolutionize their fields. Whether you're a physicist, biologist, or computer programmer, work hard to excel in your field. Pour yourself into your work in order to find success in your scientific profession. Do not neglect your other responsibilities at home or school in pursuit of scientific excellence. Do not fall into the trap that real mad scientists do by believing that your discoveries or accomplishments make you superior to others. Stay humble by reflecting on and staying aware of the things you do not do well. 4. Build or invent something wild. Mad scientists are always tinkering and designing new devices, machines, and creations. Dr. Frankenstein had his monster and Dr. Moreau had his human-animal hybrids. 
You do not need to create anything so ambitious, nor should you, in order to act like a mad scientist. Just use your own creativity and brilliance to create something that people have not seen before. You could try your hand at building a solar, powered death ray. These devices allow you to focus the sun's energy on a single point, summoning enough energy to melt metal and glass. Always exercise caution when making and using potentially dangerous devices or machines. 5. Practice Ethical Behavior Even though mad scientists are unethical, you should take steps to ensure your mad scientist persona does not lead you to overstep your bounds. Do not hide your research or pretend that you are working on one project when you are actually working on another. Cite other papers or research you use to develop your own hypotheses or experimental methods, and acknowledge scientists who have done similar experiments of projects before you. Familiarize yourself with best practices and laws. Many technological and scientific fields exist at the bleeding edge of research and development. Stem cell research, cloning, and genomics, especially, are associated with many thorny issues about who can use the research and technology and how it should be used. Learn more about the rules, regulations, and ethical problems associated with your particular field. Tips Read classic tales of mad scientists for more inspiration. Start with Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and H.G. Wells' novel, The Island of Dr. Moreau. Comics books are another great source for portrayals of mad scientists. For instance, Dr. Octopus, Dr. Doom, Dr. Savannah, The Scarecrow, and Poison Ivy are popular comic book villains with advanced scientific degrees. Warnings Do not become a mad scientist or engage in unethical behavior.